In stunning Otztal Valley in the Alps, between Italy and Austria, a group of German hikers discovered a remarkably preserved time traveler from 5,300 years ago. Meet Otzi, the Ice Man. Otzi emerged from the ice thanks to an unusual glacier meltdown during a warm summer, perched at 3,200 meters. This ancient traveler lay undisturbed for thousands of years. Mother Nature's icy embrace preserved Atsi, offering valuable lessons on life, health, and the unexpected hazards of the past. Now housed in the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology, Atsi, with his toned leg, muscles, and impressive possessions, provides a frozen glimpse into Stone Age life. Despite his healthy diet, a final mountainous journey ended in a tussle and arrow wound sealing his fate. Atsi didn't just gift us his remarkably preserved mummy. He left behind a treasure trove of Neolithic artifacts, clothes, tools, and weapons. The study of these items, combined with scrutinizing the mummy, opened a window into the daily life of a Middle European dweller some 5,100 to 5,350 years ago, during the dawn of human civilization. Atsi was probably around 46 years old, not too young, not too old. Despite weighing just over 13 kilograms and standing at about 158 centimeters tall, his body weight, estimated at around 61 kg, indicates he was a sturdy fellow, short but stocky, built for navigating rough landscapes. Atzi isn't a typical dry mummy, he's a wet mummy, even though he lost some weight and got dehydrated over time. His internal organs are surprisingly preserved, thanks to some mysterious mummification process. We don't know how exactly Atsi got mummified. We are not sure if he was covered in snow or ice right after he passed away, or if he went through some drying out process before freezing. What's really interesting is that Atsi's skin showed signs of losing its top layer and his hair and fingernails, though not attached to him anymore, hinted at some drying. Atsi's collagen fibers stayed in surprisingly good shape. It's almost like nature gave him a special preservation treatment Mitochondrial DNA studies indicated a connection between Central to Northern Europeans. Later research linked him to modern Southern Alpine populations. Paternal genetic analysis suggested a relationship with Sardinian populations, indicating a common European ancestry. Whole genome investigations confirmed ties between the Iceman and present-day inhabitants of the Tyrrhenian Sea region. Biological information revealed traits such as brown eyes, blood type O, lactose intolerance, and a genetic predisposition for arteriosclerotic vascular disease. Studies pointed to a local origin in the Southern Alps, specifically the Lower Pustertal, or Upper Isaacthal, regions. The Iceman's belongings and toolkit also reflected a Southern Alpine origin, with materials and items associated with Northern Italian traditions. The wear and tear on Atzi's teeth indicate eating pretty hard stuff like ground flour with stone mills. Imagine chewing on small bits of stone. Atzi was probably a non-vague. Stomach and intestines showed traces of grains like wheat and barley, along with animal remains like deer, ibex, and goat. His stomach contents included not only muscle fibers from animals, but also fat-containing tissues and plant bits. Surprisingly, almost half of his stomach content was fat. Charcoal particles were spotted, hinting at some food processing through smoking. There were signs that the Iceman faced nutritional challenges during the last weeks of his life. His fingernails revealed lighter lines, indicating periods of malnutrition in the weeks leading up to his death. His childhood and adolescence might have had some nutritional hiccups, seen in faint lines in his leg bones. Atsi was quite active during his lifetime. His bones and joints had signs of wear and tear that typically come from a lot of movement and physical work. Changes like osteoarthritis and extra bone growth at muscle attachment sites indicated physical exertion. His spine, especially in the middle part, seemed surprisingly healthy. Atsi might have had some ligament injuries, which he might have treated with a kind of ancient medical tattooing. Overall, the Iceman probably didn't have any major health problems and likely led an active life, maybe without any specific job-related stress. His bones indicate really strong leg muscles, which suggests he enjoyed hiking and other vigorous activities, but not necessarily as part of his job. He was a prehistoric hiker, exploring the mountains without the constraints of modern life. Atsi had some health issues that give us a peek into his life. 
his intestines showed signs of a whipworm infection, suggesting not-so-great hygiene conditions. He also had stomach infections linked to gastritis and gallbladder stones, though we're not sure how they affected him. His lungs revealed problems likely caused by inhaling particles from fires. His blood vessels showed signs of arteriosclerosis, possibly linked to kidney problems, and his genetic makeup might have made him prone to it. His bones suggested a lack of vitamin D, possibly due to a parasitic infection. His teeth had cavities and other issues, pointing to a diet not great for oral health. His hair indicated exposure to heavy metals, maybe from working with copper. Surprisingly, his belongings revealed he might have treated his intestinal parasites with a fungus called Phomatopsis betulina, tied with leather ropes. But he also seemed to have used bracken fern after detoxification, possibly to deal with parasite. The Iceman, Atsai, had lots of tattoos on his skin related to a kind of ancient therapy for joint problems. However, we're not sure if tattooing for medical reasons was a thing back then. Even though he had some joint issues, his active lifestyle and mobility suggest he wasn't severely restricted by these problems. Atsai's mummy also showed signs of various injuries. Some happened during the recovery process, like his left arm breaking during transport. Other injuries, possibly from being frozen in the glacier, were identified. He had old healed rib fractures and a frostbite-related defect in his left little toe. Injuries closer to his death included a hand wound with significant bleeding and a bone defect in his right hand. A mortal arrow shot was found in his left chest, showing signs of fresh bleeding. This could have caused severe bleeding as it was close to major blood vessels. CT scans of his brain revealed a possible trauma. Dark spots on his back might be related to trauma, but it's not clear if they happened before or after his death. The Iceman Atsai has become a fascinating window into the past, revealing intriguing details about his life, health, and demise. Born and raised in the southern alpine slopes, possibly in the Pasair or Isak Valley, he was a mobile individual, evident from his well-developed leg muscles and the variety of valuable possessions he carried. Atsi's belongings, including a copper axe and flint stones, point to his connection with the local culture in the Licinian Mountains north of Verona. In his final days, he trekked through the mountains, got into a scuffle, and ended up with a nasty arrow wound that sadly led to his demise. Luckily, Mother Nature preserved him in ice, and now, thousands of years later, he's still teaching us about life in the Stone Age.